This is another sign of the times, an analysis and a commentary. Physicists are now closer than ever to hunting down the elusive Higgs boson particle, the missing piece of the governing theory of the universe's tiniest building blocks. Scientists at the world's largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, in Geneva, Switzerland, have announced that they had narrowed down the list of possible hiding spots for the Higgs, also called the God Particle, and even see some indications that they're hot on its trail. In other words, they're getting close to knowing whether the so-called God Particle really exists. I think we are getting very close, said a physicist at the University of California, San Diego, and the leader of the Higgs search at LHC's CMS experiment. We may be getting the first tantalizing hints, but it's a whiff, it's a smell, it's not quite the whole thing. The announcement was highly anticipated by both the physics community and the public, with speculation running rampant in the days leading up to it that the elusive particle may have finally been found. Although the news is not the final answer some were hoping for, the progress is a significant, exciting step, physicists say. The Higgs boson is thought to be tied to a field, the Higgs field, that is responsible for giving all other particles their mass. Ironically, physicists don't have a specific prediction for the mass of the Higgs boson itself so they must search a wide range of possible masses for signs of the particle based on data collected at LHC's CMS and ATLAS experiments. Researchers said they are now able to narrow down the Higgs mass to a small range and exclude a wide swath of possibilities. With the data from this year, we've ruled out a lot of masses, and now we're just left with this tiny window in this region that is probably the most interesting a researcher at CERN working on the Atlas experiment said the researchers have now cornered the Higgs mass in the range between 114.4 and 131 giga electron volts GeV. For comparison, a proton weighs 1 GeV. Outside that range, the scientists are more than 95% confident that the Higgs cannot exist. Within that range, the Atlas findings show some indications of a possible signal from the Higgs boson at 126 GeV. Though the data is not strong enough for scientists to claim a finding with the level of confidence they require for a true discovery, based on the predicted size of the signal, the experiments may have their first glimpse of a positive signal. It is especially important to compare the results of two independent experiments to help reduce statistical fluctuations and experimental biases, but it shouldn't be much longer before scientists can be sure if the Higgs exists, and if so, how much mass it has. We know it must be getting close. All we need is a little bit more data. I think the data we take in 2012 should be able to really give a definitive answer if the Higgs particle really exists. The Large Hadron Collider is a 17-mile, 27-kilometer loop buried underneath France and Switzerland, run by CERN, based in Geneva. Inside this loop, protons traveling near the speed of light collide head-on and release huge amounts of energy and powerful explosions. This energy then coalesces into new particles, some of which are exotic, hard-to-find species like the Higgs. The Higgs quickly decays into other particle products, which are then sensed by the detectors inside ATLAS and CMS. The new results are based on data accumulated over 500 trillion proton-proton collisions inside the LHC. The Higgs particle and its related Higgs field were predicted in 1964 by physicist Peter Higgs and his colleagues. Though the Higgs mechanism is the best explanation for why particles have mass, it can't be trusted until its major prediction, the Higgs boson is found. It would be a major discovery, absolutely, said the author of a recent book covering the Higgs and other particle mysteries called Knocking on Heaven's Door, How Physics and Scientific Thinking Illuminate the Universe and the Modern World. We've
known about the Higgs mechanism for years, but we don't know if it's right. The discovery of the Higgs would offer final credence to the idea and its originators. So again, in other words, it's the eleventh hour. Finding the God particle would be a confirmation of modern day physics. And these are more signs. Yes, 2012 could be a wild ride. Everything is connected and everything is numbered. It's also called fate or destiny. This too is another sign of the end times, transition days, which is a time of extraordinary happenings, events, and changes. Everything that must change, must change quickly or rapidly and for the better, because it's about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations. Again, Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. 2. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. 3. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. 4. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. 5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. 6. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. 7. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. 8. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. Revelation chapter 22 verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every human according as his work shall be. 13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Yes, the time is now, and these are more signs.